I like this photo so much, but the problem with it is the motion blur. You can easily see it when I zoom in. But Luminar Neo has this amazing AI tool called SuperSharp. From here, I select motion blur, then I can choose the level of the motion blur. I will go with the high preset this time, and Luminar Neo is doing its magic now. And this is the result. It's mind blowing what this AI tool can do for you. I mean, look at the wing here, the antennas that were very blurry before, and also the left part of the wing, look at that. That's a pretty good result with just three clicks, right? This photo is completely usable now, but let's see what other AI tools can we find in Luminar Neo, the sponsor of this video. So another tool that I'm really impressed with is the Accent AI tool under the Enhance AI module. It takes care of common tasks, such as dealing with shadows, highlights, contrast, and more. It's basically the whole develop module controlled by AI, which is analyzing everything for you, as you can see in this example. That's the Buckingham Palace there at sunset. The original photo was much darker if we take a look at the before, but now everything has changed, especially on the road here and on the building, and it's pretty much usable. Now, you don't need to reach 100% with these sliders. I don't recommend this, but I just want to show you the differences here. It added contrast, clarity, and the colors stand out better. And this is just by controlling one single slider. Also, at this point, the sky is taking way too much space in this photo, but why crop this photo when I have this sky replacement AI tool here in Luminar Neo? Let's play with it. It basically recommends two different skies based on the current image you're editing. You can also click on the third button and buy other sets of skies from the website, but you will also find lots of skies in the default library here. So let's write the first one and right from the bat, we have a very beautiful sky that in my opinion fits perfectly here. In the original image, the light comes from the right side and the sky also has the sun coming from the right. If I show this image to someone, this sky replacement will not be noticed. Also, you have this button to flip the image if it's needed, change the horizon position as well as the vertical and horizontal positions. And if this sky does not satisfy you, you just have to click here, open this dropdown, choose sunset, and you have some more skies to choose from. Like this one, for example, which I think it fits very well too. Huge difference between the before and after. It's a really good result. And if you like to shoot landscapes, there's another tool called Structure AI. This adds clarity and contrast to the details in your photo. Again, just by using two sliders. If you drag to the right, it adds contrast. If you go to the left, it makes the photo softer and removes details. But honestly, I like to use it to add details. So let's push it to the right side. The second boost slider emphasizes the details even more, so use it carefully. What I find very useful for each tool is that you can control the effect with masks. For this image, I would like to create more contrast and accentuate details in the middle section of the photo and avoid the sky and the foreground. So after I choose the amount, I click on masking where I can control the mask with a brush, a linear or a radial gradient, or I can let mask AI to do the job for me. But this time I will choose the brush and from here I can add to the mask or I can take out from the mask with erase. I will choose erase. So I set my brush to be soft and take out all the areas that I don't want to be affected by the structure effect. Here you can see a before and after for this effect and I think this tool is very useful for someone who shoots landscape and nature. You know, there are many times when you take a beautiful photo but the composition is ruined by some random distracting power lines. Well, in Luminar Neo, you have an AI tool that removes them automatically. Let me show you. All you need to do is to click here on the erase tool and then remove power lines and wait until Luminar Neo analyzes the whole image and in the end, it removes the power lines. Now the image looks great, but I can come here to this glow effect and push this slider just a bit to the right and then to make it more artistic, you can come up here to Magic Light AI, where you can use the actual sun in the photo between the branches and make it more awesome than now by adding some rays and a bit of glow maybe. So now if we look at the before, look how we started 
and this is the after, a smooth and clean image without those annoying power lines. And if you want to come back and maybe tweak some of the effects you added to this image, you can always find them listed here in the edit section. Now, let me show you another feature called Relight AI. This one is incredible and it saves you so much time because it creates some masks automatically in your image and you can keep control of the lighting for those specific areas. If you work with masks in Photoshop, for example, you know how much time it takes to select different areas, right? But here in Luminar Neo, all you have to do is to click on Relight. The software is working in the background to create the masks and you have all these sliders to control the light in this specific image. So if I use this slider, the software knows what's in the foreground, so it only affects me. If I use the second slider, I can control how bright is the background and because this is a portrait, I want to darken the background a little to make me stand out. So imagine how much time you save with this. Pretty amazing technology, right? I also noticed that the horizon line is not right at the moment. So all I have to do is to come up here to crop AI and click this button. Now the horizon line is corrected too. Okay, so let's take a look at some very cool features that can solve photographers' problems sometimes. Like for example, dust spots on the sensor. In this image, I have one here, another one here, and all I have to do, again, very simple, is to come to the erase tool and I have a dedicated button that says remove dust spots. Click, and then the dust spots are removed forever. You're welcome. <laughs> this is so fun. So as you can see, the most part of the editing in the software happens just by clicking buttons and grabbing sliders. And if you want to edit fast, you have lots of AI tools to make the editing fun, but in the same time, awesome. And yes, it's not always perfect, but this is why you have all those tools and masking to dive deeper and edit in more detail if you want. Here's another great tool called Portrait Bokeh AI. This allows you to blur the background on photos that were shot with phones and simulate photos taken with expensive lenses. You can see that for the most part, it really does a great job by blurring the background here. I can then use these tabs to tell the software that, hey, this part of my glasses, for example, needs to be in focus. So I can zoom in, I can add to the focus area, and if it's too much, I can then choose defocus and refine this area exactly the way I want. There are sometimes small imperfections, but you can use the same tabs and different brush sizes to make it look perfect. Let's look at the before and after. Remember, this is a photo taken with a smartphone and I was able to do this. An important thing is that besides the adjustments that you can make on your images, you can use Mask AI. You'll find it here in the Masking tab for almost each tool that you want to use. The Mask AI will process your image and create masks for you that you can later use and affect different parts of your image. For this example, I'm using the Color Harmony tool. And after I click on Mask AI and let Luminar Neo to do its job in the background, you'll see all these masks here. I can select Human and it selects me only. I can select the sky or, in this case, I can also select the man-made ground because I want to change its color a bit. And then from the Adjustments tab, I simply shift the color of the ground and insert some blue tones here. And you can apply other effects using these masks. They are very, very helpful. Now, layers are also a part of Luminar Neo. For example, you can click on the plus sign here and add some interesting light leaks from, uh, from this list, depending on the photo that you're editing. You can change the blending mode and the intensity of this new layer, and you can also use masking for this tool as well. So what you need to know is that the team behind Luminar Neo is constantly improving stuff in the software and they added a bunch of very nice extensions that you can download. For example, the motion blur from the plane shot was repaired using the Super Sharp extension. But you can also download other extensions like HDR Merge, Noiseless, Upscale, Background Removal, Focus Stacking and Magic Light. The one that I used to make the sun more nice between the branches. Now, let me show you another cool trick in Luminar Neo. For example, to remove the background in this image, I just need to click on Layer Properties, then on Masking, Background Removal, select Main Object, or Human in this case. The mask will appear, and then I click on Remove. 
wait a few seconds, and then the magic happens. The subject is now isolated. So you can get 10% off if you subscribe to Luminar Neo for the whole year through my link in the description. You just need to use the code CHRISTY at checkout without an H, exactly as you see it on the screen. Luminar Neo has lots of interesting and fun features and the AI tools are getting better and better with each update. So go ahead and click the link below. I'm Christy. Thanks Luminar Neo for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys next time.